Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this session, we'll continue with the interactive fill tool and take a look at the bitmap pattern fill and how to work with it. You have a rectangle with a seamless bitmap pattern fill in a basic rectangle. If I select that, and you can see here's the information for the tools that you can work with, and go to the interactive fill tool, you'll see this square with the blue lines around it. That is actually the bitmap fill itself and it is seamless. Actually I got that from my Fashion Factory. It's got over 1300 high resolution seamless bitmap fills and we use it for many different things in design along with the textures from effects and design fills and things like that and it's very good for many different things especially designing for flyers, t-shirts, signs, wraps, you name it and all those are in there. Um, now, what we want to be able to do is to be able to work with these. Now, here in the center is the move the bitmap fill, and I can left click, hold down, and move that. This is the rotate and scale. I can rotate and scale and really dial that in. And you can see it's got a really different look now. The thing I like about the bitmap pattern fills is that because they're interactive in Corel Draw, you can change them to anything you want. Now, here I could go and skew and stretch that out and change that effect. And you can see the change. So when you're working with graphic design, these fills are interactive and dynamic because of the interactive fill tool. And when you've got nice seamless bitmap patterns, you can create incredible design effects. So we can rotate that, resize that, etc. Now up here in the properties bar, one thing that we want to pay attention to is transform with object. Now that's enabled right now. So if I go to my pick tool and actually I'll just hit the space bar to go back and I resize, left click, hold down, resize the rectangle. The bitmap will scale with the vector object. And I'll left click and make that bigger. But if I go back to the interactive fill tool and I deselect this transform with object and I'll hit my space bar, go back to the pen tool, select that. Now, if I scale, you can see the bitmap does not scale with or transform with the vector object. So we want to make sure that we do have that enabled. And if we see that problem, we need to enable transform with object. Scroll down here, we've got that racing design again. Now I've got that seamless high resolution flames fill in there that really kind of gives that design the ability to step out of having a vector fill. It has some depth to it and flow of the flames. Now to transform or edit that, and not really transform but adjust, I'll hold down, I'll select this, that's the yellow, hold down Alt, and now I've got that selected, I can tell down here in the taskbar, go to the interactive fill tool, that'll come up, and I can dial this in to anything I want it to look like and make adjustments to it, change the size. And you can see that, or bring it down for more of the flame effect going on. So the bitmap pattern fills give you the ability to give your vector objects a bitmap fill that's totally unlike having a vector fill and because it's interactive you can very quickly and easily dial in and customize that bitmap pattern fill to whatever you would like it to look like.
left click and move this up here and you can see the change. And really, because it's interactive, it's very easy to adjust these and get the look right where you want it when you're working with the bitmap pattern fills. So we'll wrap here in this session for the bitmap pattern fill and the interactive fill tool. And we'll continue in our next video.